a lot on this podcast, we talk about triggers, how they live in our body, how that's inflicted within our inner, you know, child work for you as somebody who was developing. And what I mean by developing is our body develops as we grow into it being a teenager. We don't know why we develop, like we don't, we don't understand why we don't develop like the person next to us or that we do develop like the person next to us. And I can only imagine what your experience must've been like having to go from project to project while you were growing up, while you were developing and how that might've inflicted on your relationship with your body so what was that like for you with your relationship with your body at such a time where you were just naturally growing up it looked like a severe eating disorder that required four months of rehab yeah (laughs) um yeah I mean I I was trying to be the best you know model for young people and the healthiest you know example And yet I myself was putting myself under immense pressures and very unhealthy um, protocols. So, you know, I was working out like 10 to 12 hours a day between dance rehearsal and and my own personal training. Um, And it stunted my development. My body started shutting down my, you know, I experienced hair loss. I my skin was sallow and, um, and I was completely disconnected and of course, a lot of anxiety. Um, but then even as I came out of my eating disorder and was, you know, experiencing recovery, then a whole new host of sort of, uh, symptoms were able to come forward. Cause it was like, Hey, this stuff's been actually underneath yeah. You haven't even been feeling this going on. Now you can feel it. And I, I had stress induced seizures, um, that were so confusing because out of nowhere, you know, I would kind of hit a moment of overwhelm and then my body would start reacting and, and shaking and then almost kind of go limp in a way and had to go to the hospital a few times. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's affected every area of my body and being every system, my mind, my, my lungs are affected. Everything is affected. Mm. And the kind of emotional triggers, I would say, I would say something that was difficult growing up is all piece of what they know about you to be the totality of who you are. And so it's like, oh, you are the girl who does A, B, and C and nothing else. And here I was going, I actually have tons of other interests and qualities, but I'm reduced to this single role forevermore, literally for, for my industry. And it's something I try to offer other people now is space and grace to be more than I know you to be. And to really say, I know you have more layers than what I can currently see right now. And how can I support your fullest expression? Because that wasn't really offered to me. If anything, if I followed the media and what they wanted from me, I would still only be talking about my past to this day. And, and I was like, no, I'm so much more than that. So, you know, hard cut to the present. I'm a founder and I have certifications in the mind and body and psychological first aid space. And I live outside of LA finally. <laughs> and I'm in completely different communities, you know, related to social impact and advocacy. And like that is far more authentic than just saying I'm a dancer and a dancer only. Um, yeah. I think that's the hardest thing, isn't it? Is that the media has a perception of who you are. And sometimes when somebody meets you, that perception then goes on forward and then you get stuck there. I mean, even know for myself, there was things that was written about our family growing up where we would sit into this bubble of like, I'm not going to go back to school and hold an assembly to tell them the truth. <laughs> like I know as long as my team, my family and my loved ones know the truth and I'm okay, I can live a fulfilled life, right? That's just a side entity. But sometimes you can start to feel like if some 
somebody writes something about yourself, it becomes a labeled perception. And then how do you break through to that? Or why does that become the number one goal? The goal is to break people's perception rather than just living your authentic truth and being okay if that receives to them or not. 